hi guys hi friends welcome to my youtube channel welcome to another video guys i know i've been coming up with so many excuses like oh why i'm not consistent or why i'm not posting on youtube let me give you one good reason why i am not consistent um I do not like editing my own videos like sana i do not like editing my own videos i feel like it's just too much admin for me i do not mind editing a picture or editing a reel or a tiktok video but a whole 30 minutes video or one hour video i got to tell this cut unless it's a, like a sit down video then it's easy but i have a vlog coming uh, that i'm still busy with as soon as i'm done i'm going to post that video but anyway guys today we are doing a q a i asked you guys to ask me a few questions yesterday and then some of you did i also received a few questions a few days ago on instagram because i did that on my stories and then you guys sent sent through the questions so we're gonna dive into these questions i have 21 questions you know because i did um check some of my facebook questions and instagram questions i then realized that you know some of your questions guys are like the same so this is like an updated q a video or like an updated get to know me tag because i also just realized that i have 200 subscribers here yay thank you so much guys for subscribing i cannot wait to reach 500 subscribers but 200 i'm grateful because i've been fighting that was my goal my june goal to reach 200 subscribers and i did so um, let's hope by the end of the year we will have 300 subscribers but only if i stay consistent because your girl is not consistent without wasting any time guys let's get straight into the video hey guys so first things first i just want to tell you guys that i am having wine um it's it's this one here i still have another bottle that is not um open i don't know when i'm gonna open that bottle because child hell no so this is detroit cloth it's a Chenin blanc high in acid if you don't drink um if you love red wine I don't know about red wine. I know about red wine, but I'm not a red wine fan. I love white wine. So if it's white wine, it has to be Sauvignon Blanc, um, Chenin Blanc, or Chardonnay. But Chardonnay, not that much. But in Chenin Blanc, you should know that it contains a lot of acid. So this one is my favorite. And yeah. And guys, the other thing is I have flu, but I'm drinking wine. Please don't come for me. Please don't come for me. I just want to spice things up on this video, okay? So we're going to start with... Um, the first question that you guys yo i don't know Uguti, why are people obsessed with wanting to know if i'm in a relationship or not guys i keep my love life off social media i do not like to i'm sure you've picked it up by now i don't post anything unless it's flowers then i'll post flowers but anything like gifts if i go out i don't do that i don't post and um yeah i just don't post so even to answer this question i just can't i just i just can't i, I can't do it you know because that is like something personal something that i discuss with my aunts something that i discuss with my friends you know uh so I, i'm not gonna answer that question online either i'm single or i'm in a relationship no <laughs> uh so the second question is how has dating been in your 20s so now that i'm in my late 20s dating has been very easy guys i don't want to lie because i love myself i have so much respect for myself and um like i love myself as a woman i love myself as a friend i love myself as a girlfriend i love myself as uh, a colleague i just love myself and I, I have accepted like quite a few things about myself that i would never change you know so when you love yourself when you accept yourself and when you can provide for yourself you know dating becomes easy because you don't settle for less so for me i would say dating has been easy once i feel like umundo is not keeping the same energy i will leave i mean just keep the same energy brother so as i would say late 20s much better than my early 20s and uh which tribe are you from i'm from ndebele tribe so in zim we have two tribes we have the ndebele tribe and the shona tribe two main tribes we do have Kosa people we do have Tuana and sutu people but um two main tribes are like ndebele and shona so i'm from the ndebele tribe although i can speak shona fluently I speak Shona fluently and I also speak Ndebele fluently. So, but I'm from Ndebele tribe. New friends or networking? Definitely networking. I think for someone like me who does, uh, who creates content or someone who is a content creator, networking has helped me a lot, guys, because 
now I can take full pictures of myself and now I am able to just step out of my comfort zone which means doing rails day in my life videos attending social media event attending social media events you know so networking definitely networking than making new friends i really don't wanna i would make new friends okay so let me say it like this networking to answer your question because when i network with people when i meet people and i just um you know when we meet and then we exchange ideas and stuff if we see like okay we are vibing we if we both want to be friends then we'll move on to being friends but at this point in my life sana i don't think that i really want to be friends with anyone who does not understand what i do and how does not especially a person that does not understand what i do although i do have friends that that want nothing to do with social media let me tell you something my friends they don't care about social media that's why you don't see them under my comments that's why you don't see them like on my youtube they don't care those girls they don't care like about and about social media they don't even post i think with her, she's got four pictures on her instagram she only has one picture she doesn't have a picture i don't know we're anxious she doesn't even have <laughs> doesn't even have instagram i don't think she's got instagram and her, my friends they are private people so definitely networking to answer your question i do have friends that are not on social media they do support me but not on social media like because they don't care about social media okay so do you get jealous when your friends hang out with uh new people no i don't get jealous uh like i said as a person you need to network because um my other friend she's a student the other one is doing engineering and then omunye she is working we we in fact we both work in the hotel environment but like different departments so if she is to meet new people or to network with new people that would maybe take her from one position to another position maybe she will further her career so i don't get jealous when my friends meet new people i used to be so jealous but now not anymore because they also don't get jealous when i hang out with other people like about and about and i told them that oh i'm going to this place to shoot they're like okay cool it's fine they they don't care about and about who am i hanging with or whatever so who is your favorite zim artist let me tell you something i know why someone asked me this question but to answer your question my favorite zim artist has to be killer t i love killer t i do have uh, i think two songs in my phone or my apple music i would check i think i have two songs that i love i'll put them here on the screen uh he's really good talented although i don't follow like zim songs i don't listen to you know i don't listen to like to those songs yeah i i listen to urban groups but the new songs i don't not in a bad way but it's just that i don't listen to i don't listen to that and the reason why this person asked me this question was there was there was another question that i saw and then i said i'm not going to answer this question someone asked me why i don't like to hang out and when is labandwa sizim mostly um i would love to hang out there but the vibe is not my vibe you know and um it's just not my vibe yeah to answer your question it's not my vibe but i do go i know a lot of people but i just don't go there you know yeah <laughs> i don't know how i can answer this question without being shady but i hope this answers your question whoever who asked me that question i hope i answered your question are you in a relationship okay moving on how do you feel about friendship in 2024 oh friendship in 2024 yeah i don't know how i can answer this question because i think i did another video about friendship red flags and friendship i do not guys when it comes to friendship ne, i have a type i have a type when it comes to friendship i'm not going to befriend everyone i am not going to befriend anyone you see those girls that are too decent yeah those girls that are like oh i don't do this or, or change this change that i'm not saying there's anything wrong with going to church but girls that want to give that jesus girl online i'm sorry my sister you and i can never be friends two dates like late lunch late late lunch dates i do shopping dates i do nail dates i do her salon dates with my friends i do club dates like let's go to the club today and then we go to the club we create memories and we are not stuck ups i'm not a stuck up so i know i've had so many girls on facebook especially approaching me wanting us to be friends wanting us to go out for dinner wanting us to do this and that and i always find a way to block that because i can go through your page and then i see about okay this person 
it's too decent for my liking and if you don't like the same things that i like if you are not someone who likes to get your hair done your nails done your makeup done if you don't like expensive stuff like you know, like a louis vuitton bag or a gucci bag you and i can never be friends because i like those things i like to talk about those things so if you're someone who doesn't like those kind of things like to travel or maybe let's do like a church date we can go to church together but i'm saying like there are those girls that are just too decent you know no no or we like uh -uh, no it can never work for me so in 2024 i'd say dating friendship sorry friendship is um it's a bit tricky you know because people they will give you the fake image you buy the fake image two or three months down the line you start seeing that person's true uh true character and you know psychology says a person can never hide who they are for more than three months that's why you see that most relationships they just go down after three months because you can't pretend for more than three months so it's tricky i just just pray that you find your tribe what are your favorite skincare products okay so when it comes to skin i don't have problems with my skin i do not break out i don't have hormonal acne i never had acne before but uh pigmentation it's something that i struggle with like quite a lot like i struggle with pigmentation guys quite a lot so yeah but okay so to answer your question i use the ordinary i don't know if it's called the ordinary i have tried uh there's something that i recently ordered on take a lot that i'm gonna try i can't say it's my favorite but i guess it is about to be my favorite because it's expensive and i also use face serums i use the dr rachel serum i use the hyaluronic serum i use the retinol serum and the vitamin c serum so yeah that's just what i use i don't i'm not high on skincare and also like when it comes to face wash i just use like normal products like garnier or um, what is it garnier or i use skin skin and i use the excluvians uh yeah those are the things that i'm currently using at the moment okay so what are your favorite luxury brands it has to be hermes i love hermes so much um louis vuitton i have only one louis vuitton bag and i also love gucci so overall my favorite brand it has to be hermes i mean who doesn't like hermes and chanel yeah i do like chanel i only have a chanel um what do you call it the chanel palettes i have two of those so that's just the only thing i own from chanel and then for hermes i only have hermes sandals but those are like my two favorite brands and then where do you where do you buy your clothes so for my clothes i buy an on Shein, edgar's mr price poetry um only if they ever sell poetry because poetry is expensive also woolworths and legit edgar's that is where i also buy like my makeup i mean edgar's i buy my makeup at edgar's or clicks or this cam and um skincare products also at woolworths what's the kind of what kind of music do you listen to okay i listen to anything anything guys i listen i can listen to anything i listen to gospel music let me just say it i listen to gospel music i also listen to ama piano and afrobeat but i listen to ama piano and afrobeat quite a lot like um i am a piano girl i am an afrobeat girl anything afrobeat everything piano bring it here who is your favorite youtuber and why so my favorite youtuber is this lady right here on the screen her name is lucy benson i learned a lot from lucy i don't want to lie things like feminine hygiene that my feminine energy um just being a good friend um loving myself as a woman just small things man you guys should check her out and then you 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 will definitely know why i love her so i learned a lot from her and her name is lucy benson so what took you so long to upload full pictures of yourself my sister hey <laughs> it has to be growth you know loving myself accepting myself for who i am uh just body insecurities took me so long to upload uh full pictures of myself and also i have found someone who is amazing to work with i work this with this other lady named naledi she takes nice pictures of me and i am comfortable uh i'm just comfortable around her and she's also comfortable around me it took me so long because i was so in i was insecure you know but i go to gym now i eat healthy i just have to love myself because i can't change how i look you know this is how i look and unless i get money to get a bbl then we will discuss in it but for now that's it okay so what is your take on marriage after your date is let me say this once and for all i hope this camera doesn't cut guys i am not that kind of a girl that carries marriage a kind of like this 
that's why i don't talk about relationships i don't talk about getting married i don't talk about having kids i do discuss those things with my family with my aunts with my with my friends i'm very close to my aunt so i do talk to my aunt about this i want to get married i want to have kids but i am not that kind of a friend or that kind of a girl that carries marriage a kind of like oh you need to get married oh you need to go oh you need no i'm not like that you know and luckily the kind of people that i hang out with they you know they don't prioritize marriage like that we prioritize work like i said some of my friends are in school some of my friends are still are working and studying and now i'm busy with my social media i am working there and i was studying recently but so it's all about what's my next move what's my next move how do i make money how do i provide for myself how do i provide for my family like where do i buy a new weave where do i buy makeup where do i do this and that we focus on ourselves we focus on our spiritual growth we focus on our businesses we focus on our social media focus on education we don't carry marriage like this so either you get married in your early 20s you get married in your mid 30s your late 20s your early 30s it's up to you do whatever you want do what makes you happy but we don't talk about marriage it's not a priority to me it has never been a priority i want to get married i do want to get married but i'm just saying like it's not something that i talk about i don't even know what kind of a wedding dress i want like that's just that's just how unimportant it is to me yeah well so i don't know you do you you do what makes you happy but i don't carry marriage on my head like this i'm very sorry i'm a uh, piano or afrobeat sana there is no middle ground i love i'm a piano i love afrobeat the same way sana yo hi guys i just i am an afrobeat girl i am like and i'm a piano girl i will leave my playlist down here and then if you guys have apple music you can just share your playlist with me in the dms or you can do that uh yeah you can just say in the dms because yeah uh your favorite i'm a piano afro piano album it has to be it's called work of art by ashake it's a nigerian artist oh that album my favorite album so that's the one that one by ashake and then also i love say vibes so his latest album no no not his late. i don't know if it's his latest album but that album with that song different pattern that's also like my favorite that's not piano it's a piano but it's afrobeat so yeah so your favorite i'm a piano album anything by cubs that is small anything by cubs that is small bring it here i love cubs are the small guys i love that guy so how do you unwind after a long day of work or oh, after a long day of work so after work i go to gym uh yeah i have joined gym so after work i go to gym i work out for um, one and a half hour or maybe one hour depends because i'm not big i know i look big but i'm not big i don't know it's this camera it makes me look huge but i'm not big i am very small i'm not i'm not big i i don't focus on weight loss so i focus on uh building muscle and also my abs so that my waist is small those are like my goals so when i go to gym i'm not taking classes at the moment i will take classes i guess in future or in summer because it's too cold so i'm not that consistent because it's cold outside it's cold and uh so when i come back i just um i shower you know i make myself something to eat and then i make sure that my room is nice and clean i pack away whatever that i want to pack away i then see to maybe listen to music because guys i listen to music a lot i listen to music a lot like yo i sana i listen to music i will leave my playlist like uh on my t in, in the description box if you want to check out uh whatever that i listen to on a daily basis i think i will just add two or three playlists two two or three of my playlists and then you guys can check that out so i don't do much really and then i'm on my phone just catching up on instagram catching up on some youtube videos you know and then by eight o'clock i just make sure that thing lately if i'm starting work at six but if i'm starting work like two o'clock in the afternoon i also wake up early i prep for gym i go to i go to the gym and then after gym i shower i do everything at the gym then i go to work so i don't do much because i'm alone i don't I, I don't do much you know and then the other question is if you could drink one type of wine for the rest of your life what it would be definitely a shin in blank 
guys it contains so much acid i know a lot about wines hey i do know a lot about wines maybe i should start creating like wine content but when i start going when when it's summer when i when we do like um like wine tasting and stuff and then i will i love i just love a chenin blanc that's the one that i would drink you mean the grape or what or you mean um the brand i don't know okay so um, what's your favorite activity to do when spending time alone spending time alone listening to music like i say yo guys i listen to music i listen to music See, apple music must let me show you what i was listening to just now so i was listening to drake the song by drake I hope you can see it's called nice for what and then uh this is the other playlist i hope you guys can see where to yo hope you can see so that's just what i do when i'm alone i i listen to music yeah what's your stance on being friends with your ex boyfriend okay ex-boyfriend <laughs> okay so i don't have a good relationship with my exes but recently i sent my other ex-boyfriend a message just apologizing for something that i said to him i think i also posted that on my facebook i said something very nasty and i you know i can't say it out loud because it was just not a good thing to say to someone i don't know why i said i know why i said it i was angry i was really angry but i yeah we don't have like a good relationship i do have a good relationship with one of my exes so that one i would never take him serious he is you know how that one is he's my friend that one guys we just realized after some time we would see we are better off as friends and we are good friends like good good friends so i don't have a good relationship with some of my exes because apparently people say i'm a mean girl but i don't know i just don't have a good relationship with them that the, even the one that i apologized to we don't have like a good good relationship we just have that you know like that peaceful thingy that peaceful relationship because the guy is very rude opinion on on online dating and have you tried it no i have never tried it never tried it you know it depends man with the person like what kind of a person are you online um how does your page look like what do you do for a living you know where do you stay i look at those things but i've never tried to date like online dating i do respond to people online if you send me a dm i'll see it even if you say nasty things guys i'll see it i just don't respond i'll see your, i'll open your message read it and then my kit is unread you know but i've already opened your message so i don't respond to negativity but i do see your messages so sometimes if a guy is asking me out and i feel like when guys are asking girls out they are not so much sure. i don't know maybe it's me or my dms it's like hi what do you want me to say when you say hi just like a hi like hi so now i have to put in an effort of asking you hi how are you hi but my brother <laughs> so no i've never tried it and uh show your fashion trend that you're currently loving definitely old money or um or mob wife if you guys have noticed uh that is like the kind of fashion that i'm going for on my social media because i want to feel comfortable online i don't want to be sexualized so i have to cover myself i want to be modest you know um i just don't want to if 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 i'm going to wear like something that is too revealing i'm going out to the club or i'm running errands at the mall but anything else besides that online you will never catch me naked i know i did post a picture that picture i'm going to delete it but um yeah because i have nieces i have uh my siblings they have kids you know and so i don't want them to think what oh my man is doing this and that oh aunt is doing this and that so no i'm not going to be posting like like baby outfits although i do wear baby clothes let's move on um describe your perfect night out with friends okay so he's saying describe your perfect night out with friends yeah so my perfect night out with my friends guys it's just going to the club we will be having lots of fun like guys yo uh, we have lived eh we have lived but just to describe a perfect night out for me it has to be either it's clubbing or a late um 
a late late dinner or late din a dinner or a late lunch that's just uh you said night out okay so it's dinner or clubbing yeah dinner uh, yeah and then uh or maybe like a karaoke night we've done a karaoke night that was fun but also we were like drinking so kefa and ajay has clubbing because it was just like place where they play music but yeah something like what is your favorite accessory that you can't live without definitely a watch and some bracelets i recently purchased those uh bracelets okay so they are cartier dupes i recently um ordered those but i couldn't wear them with this outfit and stuff but i'm planning to do like a whole accessory thing accessory reel i want to show you guys how i pick away my jewelry so i ordered a box on take a lot and then i will do that as a reel and then i'll show you guys my jewelry so and also like earrings i love me some chunky earrings like this one i love chunky earrings if you guys have noticed i don't wear those long long earrings my earrings are either chunky or too tiny so my favorite accessory it just has to be like jewelry let me say jewelry you know because accessory i think it involves quite a lot of things so what is your idea okay so what's your idea of a perfect um romantic evening oh with a partner or with my friends okay guys i don't like to talk about relationships on my social media i like to keep that to myself but because you asked i'm going to answer it just has to be something like like intimate you know that does not involve like a lot of people i love spending time with my person sibangu too no one else just the two of us so it could be dinner a dinner date just you and me karaoke night or late night walks and um yeah just something just something intimate just like just the two of us so that's just how i would describe um a romantic evening oh okay, guys this camera is becoming my enemy of progress right now <laughs> because it just went off while i was talking so anyway guys this brings us to the end of today's video thank you so much guys for sending through the questions thank you so much guys for watching today's video and for tuning in of course for 200 subscribers thank you guys i am so grateful i'll try to be consistent okay i'll try i'll try um i don't know why i'm so lazy to edit because i have an ipad and i have everything i need <laughs> to edit i just can't stand editing videos like i just can't stand anyway guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for tuning in today's video i will definitely see you guys on my next video bye guys <laughs>